Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Monthly BoxyCharm try-on and this month's box is so good. So let me show you guys what I got and then we will try it on. This is probably the best BoxyCharm box I've ever gotten. So the first thing in here is by Alamar Cosmetics Longwear Sticky Pigment Base. I'm excited for this because I'm always on the lookout for a primer that works for my eyelids, my oily eyelids. Next we have Earth Harbor Anti-Pollution Youth Ample Red Algae and Plant Stem Cells. It's supposed to help with daily skin stressors, pollutants. So you can apply this to your skin after cleansing or you can add two or more drops to a serum, facial oil, or moisturizer morning and night. It's really pretty and it's red. It reminds me of something. I don't know what. Kind of smells like sunscreen or just reminds me of like when you're out in the sun and you're wearing sunscreen and all that kind of stuff and it just smells like it on your body. Kind of smells like that. So excited to add this to my skincare routine to try this out. Next, I picked this item. It's the Jouer Essential Lip enhancer conditioning lip treatment I heard really good things about this so I wanted to try this out and my lips are dry ooh ooh does that have color to it? it smells good I like that it's a squeeze tube so I don't have to touch my lip product it's like thick but not too thick and it's nice because it leaves a little bit of a shine I like when my chopsticks or something, I could just throw it on and it kind of looks like I have something on my lips. Next is this Beauty Creations Cali Glow. Ooh. So it looks like a bronzy shade, a peachy shade, and then a highlighter. And I forgot to tell you how much everything costs. I always do that. So the serum was $48. The Jouer Lip Enhancer is $17. This blush, I mean highlight palette is $14.99. And the primer is $15. The best part of this box is my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. I did not know that this was like one of the products that was coming in the box. And I was so excited when I opened this box because... I've always wanted to try Natasha Denona, but I couldn't bring myself to spend $50 on a palette, which I think it, these, these palettes run $48, but I've obviously heard so many good things about her eyeshadow, and I'm loving the colors that I got. It's very fall, very me. That's why I mean that this is probably the best box that I've gotten this far because I'm just so excited to try out um, Natasha Denona. I have never tried her shadows before so I'm super excited. So let's get started. We'll try the LMR primer first. I don't know if you guys can see but it has a little bit of a color to it. It's really um, sticky. Ooh, it's really sticky. Can you guys see like, my eyelid <laughs> tugging along? The more I pat it in, the more I feel like it gets sticky. Normally I set my primers with some powder, um, but I think I'm just gonna try this one out and see how it goes. So let's dip into the Natasha Denona palette. Wow, the packaging just even feels so nice. Now let's start off with this shade right here. We're gonna pop that into the crease. Primer feels a bit sticky, like I could feel it like when I'm trying to blend. Like I could feel the primer on my lids, like it's kind of, it's sticky, so um, I could feel my brush kind of against my eyelid. So that blended out really nicely. Next, let's just go in with this dark brown shade right here. Like when you dip your brush into the shadow. It doesn't produce a lot of powder everywhere. So that's also really nice. 
very pigmented. I'm bare, I'm just dipping my brush in maybe like one or two times. I'm gonna go back in with the first blending shade just to blend the edges. Next, for the lid shade, we're just gonna use the shimmery shade. Ooh. Who decided to do yard work right now? Well, the lid shade is really pretty. I wasn't expecting it, but it almost has like an orange. Like I thought it was just going to be like a champagne gold shade, but it actually has a hint of orange. I think it pairs really well. Like this whole palette is just a vibe. Lastly, we're just going to go under the brow with the highlight shade, which I love that this has a really pretty matte highlight shade. Most palettes don't. This whole palette, oh, I love her shadows. So expensive though, but it's worth it. I can see why it's so much. It's definitely worth the money. I'm gonna pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so for under my eyes, I'm gonna do a little bit of the brown shadow on just like a flat brush. And then I'm going to use the shade I used in my crease just to blend that out a little bit. Next, I'm just gonna use a matte bronzer. This is one by Aesthetica. Just because um, I don't want to use too many glowy products on my cheeks. And next, we're going to go into the Beauty Creations Kelly Glow Palette. I'm going to use a little bit of Santa Monica, which is the peachy shade in the middle. That's pretty. It's like peachy with a little bit of gold in it. Technically, I guess you don't really need a highlight, but I want to try it anyways. So we're going to go in with Malibu, which is this one right here. Ooh. That is poppin'. It's pretty. And lastly, I'm just going to throw on a, a lip, and I really like the... Jouer lip enhancer that I applied at the beginning of the video. It's, my lips feel really nice. What should we do? Let's do World Lip Liner. And then let's just throw on a gloss. I want to do a matte lipstick today, so we're going to do ColourPop's Luxe Lip Oil in Playa Vista. And that is it for the completed look. So that completes this month's BoxyCharm try-on. I am so excited that I was able to try the Natasha Denona palette. This one is super pretty. And the shadows went on so nice. It makes me want to buy some more. They're really, really nice and super easy to blend. Again, this month's box was really good. I liked everything from this month's box. There's nothing I didn't like. The, even the primer, I feel like, worked really well. Another successful BoxyCharm box. And that about wraps it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.